Good day everyone, I am Sir Jerick Sonestrua and welcome to Animation 2. So before we start our session for today, may I request all of you to please bow your head as we feel the presence of our Lord through this prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. future animators welcome to animation 2 for our first lesson we're going to discuss your personal entrepreneurial competencies or PECs our learning objectives at the end of the lesson you should be able to explore job opportunities in animation align one's PECs according to his or her or business career or choice and we're going to create a plan of action that ensures success of your business career or choice so for our quote of the day, opportunities don't happen, you create them. So later on, as future animators, I want you to become the best entrepreneur that you can be. You may also create your own business or own companies in the future, or you may also venture in other business ideas that you want to go to. Our key terms for this lesson is entrepreneur, entrepreneurship in history, and the different characteristics and skills of successful entrepreneurs. So here are some features of being an entrepreneur. You should be innovative and knowledgeable about your future business. You should gear towards the success of your business. You should also be a team leader, okay? Especially if you have several employees in your future uh, entrepreneurial business. And it also includes being assertive and risk tolerance, okay? And as an entrepreneur, you should also adapt to the possible changes in the future. So all humans are entrepreneurs, not because they should start companies, but because the will to create is encoded in human DNA. This is according to Reid Hoffman. So what is an entrepreneur? So this is a person who creates and runs a business. Basically, that's the basic definition of an entrepreneur. And when an entrepreneur starts a new business, risk is involved. And as I said a while ago, risk taking is part of being an entrepreneur. And when we say risk, this is a chance of losing something. And um, being versatile is part of being a good entrepreneur itself because later on you will see and have different problems that you will encounter and you need to think outside the box on what will be the possible answers to those problems. And because employees work for someone else and entrepreneurs work for themselves, entrepreneurs risk more than employees. Because later on, if the entrepreneur is losing its um, investment, okay, so that will basically lose the business its, itself. So why be an entrepreneur? So the biggest reward of becoming an entrepreneur is the personal satisfaction that comes from having the freedom to make your own business decisions and then act on them. It's basically saying that you are doing the job that you love. And basically, if you are happy on doing what you love, okay, that uh, business will grow and um, you will not work as hard as you need to do because you love what you're doing. And there are several factors that we need to consider on why being an entrepreneur. Number one is it helps you to make your own rules. Okay, so basically it's your business, you own the business, you get to create your own rules and regulations. But we also need to follow the rules that is 
given by the different uh, government agencies that handles our business. Doing work you enjoy, basically that's what I said a while ago, is since the majority of most of the people live is spent working, why not spend the time doing something that you really enjoy, okay? So that's how it is. Creating greater wealth, okay? So that's the goal of our business really to gain profit, okay? And there is no limit to what an entrepreneur can make, okay? And um, entrepreneurs should also be innovative, and thinking outside the box when creating their own businesses. Helping your community. Being an entrepreneur lets you make your community and world a better place, which is one of the goals of creating a business is to help elevate people okay, to do better things, to do um, greater things in life. Okay? So what, us, what are the possible risks of being an entrepreneur? So number one, potential business failure. So being fully responsible means the success or failure of your business rests on you. So there will be time that you will have some major problems that you, that you have on your business. But uh, it re it's really up to you on how you will go through that problem and rise about those challenges. And unexpected obstacles can also happen because change can happen. There will be a lot of changes that will happen, especially if you will have several competitors on your business. Okay, So you really need to think of your USP or unique selling proposition so that your um, customers, loyal customers, will still be buying your products and services. Financial insecurity. Many new businesses don't make much money in the beginning, but um, it really uh, pays a lot to just push through with all those possible challenges that you will get into. So you may not always be able to pay yourself, but really the goal is to make profit for you to have income and for your possible employees to have income also. Long hours and hard work, it's not unusual for entrepreneurs to work a lot of extra hours to make their business successful. This is especially true during the initial startup process. So um, it's really up to you now on what will be the time of your business hours okay, for your employees and um, maximizing their full potential while doing the job will be the key for this particular aspect. Entrepreneurship in history. So here are some well-known entrepreneurs who changed the world and for what each entrepreneur most famous. So let's see, we have Thomas Edison, P.T. Barnum, William Harley, and Arthur Davidson, Maggie Leno Walker, we have Ingvar Kamprad, Steven Wozniak, and Steve Jobs, we have Russell Simons, and Dine Mohajer. So Thomas Edison created the light bulb, which we now really maximize on our homes, in different buildings, and other infrastructures. We also have P.T. Barnum, who created the Barnum and Bailey Circus, and actually they have a movie called The Greatest Showman. Um, that is their movie. We also have William Hardy and Arthur Davidson, we, which created the motorcycles. We have Maggie Lena Walker, the first woman to own a bank. Okay, so she was um, um, what we call a pioneer in creating banks. We have Ingvar Kamprad, who created the IKEA furniture uh, business. We also have Steve, Stephen Wozniak and Steve Jobs, Apple Company. Russell Simons is the CEO of Rush Communications and Def Jam Recordings. And we have Dine Mohajer, which is the creator of hard candy cosmetics or nail polish. So here are some entrepreneurs that we can look up into. And we can also research some characteristics for us to really assess what can be the good characteristics that is similar with us, okay, that we can really adopt and improve on. Okay, so what are the characteristics of successful entrepreneurs? Really, the first thing that we need to do is to self-assess. And if by self-assessing, we can evaluate our strengths and weaknesses. And this is an important aspect of becoming an entrepreneur. So that if we have our strengths, we can improve it. And if we have weaknesses, we can change it into our strengths. So there are two factors in assessing our characteristics. It can be in your aptitude or your attitude. So when we say aptitude, this is the natural ability to do a particular type of work or activity well. So we can assess your aptitude using a test. 
okay? Your attitude is the way of viewing or thinking about something that affects how you feel about it. Meaning, basically, that's your work um, attitude, okay? So, we can also see that and in creating a, our own business, it really is to have a positive mindset or positive attitude towards our business, okay? So, those are the two factors that we need to consider. So, here are some characteristics of a successful entrepreneur. So, you have your personal characteristics and your skills. So, your personal characteristics can, ha can be uh, being courageous, being creative, being curious, okay? Curiosity is one of the key things that we need to have also. Determination, okay? Discipline, okay? Especially if you will be gaining some income, okay? Um, spending habits should also be disciplined, okay? Empathy towards our possible employees, okay? Enthusiasm about our business, meaning um, we are always excited to go to work every day so that's enthusiasm flexibility okay to have or to adapt to possible changes honesty is the best policy okay especially with our possible um, buyers of our product we need to be honest with them patience is also the key and being responsible for the good and bad things that will happen to the business skills is the ability that uh, that is learned through training and practice so um, just like in animation, okay, we are learning sa several um, lessons that we need to apply. So, applying that particular lesson would be developing your skills in animating. So, here in being an entrepreneur, here are the skills that we need to improve on or maybe to uh, venture on. So, we have your business skill, okay, we have your communication skill, which is one of the important aspects of being an entrepreneur because you will later on uh, communicate with your possible um, buyers okay uh, computer skills is also very important because uh, nowadays technology is part of any business okay and being uh, aware of these technologies um, that will maximize the potential of the business would gain really have um, significant um, improvement okay or significant importance of your um, ventures okay we also have your decision making and problem solving skills um, in uh, several problems that you will encounter you need to have this one and um, with uh, your employees later on brainstorming is the key for this or meetings mathematical skill is also important organizational skill and people skill so here are some entrepreneurs today that we can look up into, especially in the technology world. We have um, the founder of Facebook, uh, which was founded in May 2004. So he is Mark Zuckerberg. And his um, quotation that really strikes was about the Facebook mission, which is to give people the power to share and make the world more open and connected, which is the goal of Facebook. So. Uh, having said, been said that, uh, one of the characteristics of Mark Zuckerberg is being committed to work. Okay, so that is his mission to meet and share to the world and being connected to other people. So that's being committed to that particular application. Next is we have Bill Gates. So he is the co-founder of Microsoft Corporation in 1975. And their goal is to ultimately the PC or personal computer will be a window to everything people are interested in and everything we need to know. Okay, so that's why he developed the Microsoft Corporation, okay, which presents the windows, okay, as their um, wallpaper. Okay, so Bill Gates is profit oriented. So that is his characteristic as an entrepreneur. Next, we also have Steve Jobs, which is the co-founder and founder of Apple Com Computer Incorporated, which was developed after Microsoft. That is 1976. So their goal is we started out to get a computer in the hands of everyday people and we succeeded beyond our wildest dreams. And Apple nowadays not only focuses on their personal computers, but also on their phones, their iPods, okay, their uh, ear, wireless earphones and so on and they have a lot of new technologies 
that people would want to buy and that is um, what Steve Jobs want okay so his characteristic is being confident that their business would grow and would succeed beyond their wildest dream so let's proceed to this learning without school um, here are some entrepreneurs so drop out of college by Anna Vital so at the age of 19 we have Michael Dell Dell founder Steve Jobs Apple founder Julian Assange, uh, Wikileaks founder. At the age of 20, we have Bill Gates, Microsoft founder. Ivan Williams, Twitter co-founder. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, which is the founder of Facebook. And Larry Ellison, which is the founder of Oracle. Oracle is a database uh, company. We, on the age of 21, we have Jan Combe, which is the WhatsApp founder. And Travis Kalanick, which is Uber founder. And at the age of 22, we have John Mackey, Whole Foods founder so basically they dropped out of school but later on they also finished their schooling okay so it's this year that i have never let school interfere with my education so this is according to mark twain so here are some important characteristics or traits or attributes of a good entrepreneur that we need to be uh, aware of and really to uh, really assess to ourselves if we have these characteristics for us to um, pursue and venture into being a successful entrepreneur. So the first one is being hardworking, meaning this is one of the most important characteristics of a good entrepreneur. It means that you need to work diligently and being consistent about it. Hardworking people keep improving their performance to produce good products and or provide good services, meaning that we don't really rely on what is good but we really rely on what is quality. So that's hardworking. So if you put time plus effort, you will see great results in the future. Next is being confident. So you need to be self-reliant of your own judgment and uh, ability. Uh, it means that you need to exhibit self-confidence to cope up with the possible risk of operating your business, meaning that you should be a leader of your own will. Okay. Next, you should also be disciplined, meaning successful entrepreneurs always stick to the plan and fight the temptation to do what is unimportant. So having a plan is very important um, for the business to grow, okay? And you should also have a target each month, okay? So that um, you will hit that mark, um, especially if you want to reach that goal. And being self-disciplined is the magic power that makes you virtually unstoppable, okay? Being committed, good entrepreneurs assume full responsibility over their business and they give full commitment and solid dedication to make the business successful. And committed meaning dedication, dedicated to work, dedicated to your employees, and dedicated to your future customers. Next is the ability to accept change. So nothing is permanent but change and change occurs frequently. When you own a business, you should cope with and thrive on the possible changes. And you need to capitalize on those possible changes to make your business grow. And it says here that learn to embrace change. Life is currently to change. If you can accept and understand those changes, you will really progress. And we need to um, think of ourselves as adaptable on the uh, possible things that will happen in the future we should stop being close-minded and be open-minded on the uh, what is really there and what is happening on our world okay being creative should also be part of being entrepreneur um, if you are creative innovative to stay in the business you need to have an edge over your competitors that's why we need also to learn what we call our USB or unique selling proposition so that um, the competitors um, will not outshine you and you will be more profitable if you focus on what is needed on uh, the customer's needs. And the characteristic of a creative person should be curious, uh, seeking problems, enjoy challenges, okay, which is really hard, but if you really love doing um from your uh, conf uh, from your comfort zone, okay, going outside of your comfort zone is a way really to enjoy challenges. Being optimistic, okay, uh, able to suspend judgment, imaginative is also a way to be creative. 
sees problem as opportunities and not as a burden and doesn't give up easily, okay, which is a good characteristic of a successful entrepreneur. It also you should also have an initiative, meaning you must put yourself in the position where you are responsible for the success or failure of your business. Be creative, take the initiative. Okay, so initiate things that will benefit the company, initiate things that will benefit your employees, initiate things that will benefit your customers. So that's the goal of having a business or animation business in the future. And also, you should also be profit-oriented, which is um, the goal of having a business to gain some income. And as an entrepreneur, if you enter the business world, okay, you need to generate profit or additional income. The business shall become your bread and butter. Therefore, you must see to it that the business can generate income. And there will be times that you will have profit loss and that is a problem or a challenge, but you need to think of the possible ways to improve that and go into a more profitable activity. Okay, so those are the characteristic traits of a successful entrepreneur. So now we'll proceed to the skills of a successful entrepreneur. Number one, you should be an excellent planner. Okay, strategize. Okay, think of the goal of your business. Okay, so planning involves strategic thinking and goal setting to achieve objectives by carefully maximizing all the available resources that is already available on your uh, community or your municipality. A good entrepreneur develops and follows the steps in plans diligently to realize your goals. Okay, step by step process is a key in doing the strategy efficiently. A good entrepreneur knows what planning is an effective skill only when combined with action. Okay, putting that plan into action is the key in order for us to do this activity okay so it's not just an idea but doing it as well will be uh, the goal of this particular skill next possessing people skill which is very important especially if you want to really gain some income in our business we need to think about our customers what is their needs what is their wants or what are the things that you want to have okay so feedback is also important here because you will need to get some um ideas from your customers um if they want to change a particular product or service you may get their feedback about that or some recommendation about that so you need to have that particular people skill for you to have loyal customers so this is a very important skill to be successful in any kind of business because people skills refer to effective and efficient communication and establishing good relationship to people working in and out of your business so you need to have effective communication with your employees and your customers in a day-to-day -day business transaction you need to deal with people and a well-developed interpersonal skills can make a huge difference between success and failure of your business so you should have technical skills as well as your interpersonal skills should also be developed next is sound decision making meaning um, you need to stick what is what will benefit the uh, business so successful entrepreneurs have the ability to think quickly and to make wise decision towards a predetermined set of objectives so having wise decision is the key to having not um, the key to not fail into the business itself. So no one can deny that the ability to make wise decisions is an important skill that an entrepreneur should possess. Sound decisions should be based on given facts and information, and it should also lead towards the predetermined objectives. Okay, so risk is part of a business, but if you do it on a good decision, okay, um, you will really uh, take advantage of the possible things that will happen on your business okay now as an IT entrepreneur how do we now increase your potential so increasing your business and entrepreneur potential by focuses on the six specific areas so we need to think about these areas the first one is business knowledge that's why we are learning this um, you need to read also some magazines, newspaper articles, research on the internet, and talk about business owners so that you will gain relevant experience and relevant knowledge on how business is uh, being done 
okay especially in the real world market so if you want to have a relevant understanding of how the business is being run okay you need to have a little bit of interview on uh, several um, animation or ICT entrepreneurs out there okay next is financial skills you need to strengthen your math skills basically because you want to generate income and you want to avoid losses so if you want to have a better understanding of your financial skills you need to work on it by strengthening your math skills career exploration evaluate your strengths and weaknesses explore careers that interest you that's why we have your personal entrepreneurial competencies assessment so that we can know your uh, strengths and weaknesses as an ict entrepreneur next is community awareness you need to look for volunteering opportunities and find out if any companies in your local area provide internship programs so that you can be aware of the community which you can help later on in the future education is obtaining a good education benefits you personally and open doors to more career opportunities because um uh, it really is a risk if you drop off of school and then um, you find a job. But nowadays, really, they really focus on the bachelor's degree. So if you want to venture on your entrepreneurial business, you need to have at least a bachelor's degree so that okay, um, people will really notify you as a reliable person. Okay. Next relationship, you need to spend time with people who believe in you and inspire you so that you will be... Um, given a feedback that you need to go to that particular business and um, this will really um, give you the commitment and boost really to uh, go to that uh, business and uh, pursue it so for our lesson one which is your personal entrepreneurial competencies we have discussed what is an entrepreneur and the features that um, exist within being an entrepreneur and then we also have discussed the different traits characteristics and the skills that a future animation or ICT entrepreneur should possess so for our practice you need to answer activity 2 which is your personal entrepreneurial competencies you need to answer the following questions substantially and intelligently number one what are the areas that you need to improve and develop as an animator in the future so this will be a part of a reflection okay so to, for us to really understand our strengths and weaknesses uh, number two what are the strategies or approaches that you can assess your pecs explain how these strategies will become more useful in selecting a viable animation business venture three what are the desirable personal characteristics attributes lifestyle skills and traits of a prospective animation entrepreneur and why are these important Four, why do we need to align or assess one specs in terms of its characteristics, attributes, lifestyle, skills, and traits before starting a particular business? And number five, you need to create a plan of action that can help you ensure your animation career or business to be successful in uh, the future. So you need to create a plan, okay, or dream plan, okay, for you to have a successful career or business in the future. Okay, so as an end note, future animators, okay, let us start now. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have learned many things from our discussion. See you on our next lesson. Keep safe and God bless.